Normally I say you should be very leery of doing business with family. If it goes bad, it goes really bad. But seems like Lamar Jackson and his mother have defied the odds. What's up everybody and welcome back to The Fumble. I'm Jackie Ray. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And then you can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter at Jackie Ray TV. Now I hope you guys know this, but Lamar Jackson, kind of business savvy. From the onset of his career, he knew there was no point in wasting money. Since rookie contracts are already set, he opted out of an agent so he wouldn't have to pay that 3% fee. Instead, Jackson has been his own agent working with a team of advisors, including his mother. I know some of you may have opinions about that, but according to the Ravens GM, the mother-son duo is a force to be reckoned with. Ravens general manager Eric DaCosta spoke out about the team's star quarterback Lamar Jackson and his mother's negotiating skills during the contract talks. According to DaCosta, he was impressed by the intelligence and the negotiation prowess of both Jackson and his mother. In fact, DaCosta said that he has never seen a mother-son duo negotiate a contract as shrewdly as the two of them did. The Ravens GM praised Jackson for his work ethic and the way he has matured as a player, stating that he is excited about the team's future with the young quarterback. DaCosta also emphasized that the team values their relationship with Jackson and his family and is committed to working with them to create a successful future for both parties. It's great to hear considering how the Ravens have failed to truly build around Lamar Jackson in the past. Personally, I thought that was the reason he requested a trade. Turns out that was just part of the plan. While on the lounge, which is the Ravens team podcast, Jackson said he only made the trade request as a negotiating ploy. He wanted to get the ball rolling on negotiations with the Ravens, which had mostly stalled at that point. Ravens fans have to be happy to know the move was just a tactic and that Baltimore is really where Jackson wants to be. He alluded to that same point during Thursday's press conference when he said, quote, today we're going to keep it about the future. I'm not really worried about what happened in the past. I'm going to keep it about these next five years and keep it about what's going on today. You know, it's a great day. I love that thought process, but I still believe you have to go with what Maya Angelou said. When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. So do you think this is a true turning point in this relationship between Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens? And are they going to truly build around him? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray and thanks for watching The Fumble.